I have to release all pressures that I have towards YouTube. It's gonna happen how it's supposed to happen. If you if you anything like me being indecisive because of all this pressure you're applying to yourself. I know for me, when it comes to YouTube, it was like an enormous amount of pressure because I'm trying to be consistent. I'm also not trying to post bullshit. It wasn't into this moment until I watched people sharing their story, like being broke and then in a matter of weeks that changing or just them stepping into their purpose. And it really just renewed me in YouTube. Cause it's easy to get lost and just be like, damn, you know, and then not do anything. You know, I'm tired. I'm not in a place. I'm not in a state where I want to compromise myself when it comes to YouTube anymore. Like, I know I can do more. I know I can post this fucking anger. <laughs> Hold on, y'all, cause this shit. All right, let's get right. I know I can do more. I know that I have something to say. You feel me? I do it so organically on TikTok, and I just wanted to bring that format to YouTube. We get in our own head. We start telling ourselves we're not ready. And then we start finding different ways to distract ourselves. You feel me? Because all to just avoid that chance of you taking half you desire. If I want to have videos like this where I'm providing value, then I need to be putting myself in a position. You feel me? I can't be thinking until when I first started YouTube and I was struggling. You feel me? And I was forcing, trying to literally force these videos like, okay, maybe I should talk about this. Maybe I should talk about that. And I'm just not a person that can script those sort of conversations. I'm a very from the moment, from the heart, from the soul person, meaning like it just got to come organic. These videos have to come organic. That's where the pressure came in for me. This brings me to this video. You feel me? I do my best and I think it's finally starting to click that I have to release all pressures that I have towards YouTube. You feel me? I have a lot of fun in a lot of different ways on YouTube, like my weekly vlogs and other content that I started to map out this year to be able to hit my goal of three videos a week. I have to just trust in myself and put my best foot forward and know that it's gonna happen. Prior to me making this video, I was watching videos and I'm just like, oh man, how, why can I come up with something? What, maybe I could talk about this, maybe I could talk, let me help people with this. It's just like, bro, let it go and it'll come to you. But where are you at right now? What are you struggling with feel that you can just speak on right now? Pressure came to mind and instantly I set my phone up and I hit record talk because I feel like this sense of pouring out, you feel me? And that's how I know and just speak on the things that I feel like holding. I wanna keep reminding myself to not use likes and views that these are not measurements I should be living by. You feel me? In a sense of I should just be creating to create. Sometimes when you're in a position where you feel a lot of pressure or you have certain deadlines that you might have to make, you start to put yourself in a place of like, damn, I gotta hit this, so maybe I should do this, maybe I should do that. And it's like, nah, bro, just do what feels right. You feel me? Release yourself from all that weight. You know, like, I don't have to be in this state of black or I don't have to feel like I gotta make some radical decision. I could just go with, with the flow and what feels right. You feel me? What naturally feels organic to me. As long as you're in a state applying this pressure to yourself that doesn't even exist, you're gonna find yourself in situations that are counterproductive to what the universe has for you. All those great things coming your way that have been attracting, you've been manifesting. You feel me? Just because in fourth quarter, you feel like, oh shit, the time is running out and you're drawing a blank. Even though you've been in the gym for 60 plus hours, 80 plus hours, sharpening your toolkit, you feel me? Getting your shot right, getting your dribble right. Now is not the time to forget everything, you feel me? Now is not the time to fall flat. Rely on the work that you've done. Hours you put in to curate your craft, all the intangibles you have, you feel me? The things that make you you that you cannot measure. And when I start to think about it like that, that helps me relieve a lot of the pressure that I place upon myself in situations like this. It's gonna happen how it's supposed to happen. If you feel it and you genuinely resonate with it and you have a peaceness about it, a calmness, like I have no fear when it comes to my content and being me unapologetically now on YouTube. Keep that in mind when I'm making content, you feel me? I have no fear about me being able to figure out a way to get the money I need to fund my business because I know it's orchestrated for me. I know it's written already. I don't have to add pressure onto it because the time is getting closer. I just have to stay present and within me staying present, everything I need will align like it always has, you feel me? There's been so many times, I know y'all have had the same experience where you spoke something and it happened. Sometimes it might've happened the same day, sometimes it might've happened a week, a month. Anytime I've tried to force it, it has not gone my way. It's brought me a lot of stress, bro. 
And when it's instantly, I think about every time I let it go and I just spoke about it with a conviction and a knowing, also being in a place of peace and calmness about it, it has happened for me either before or exactly when I said it was gonna happen. Like I know that I'm gonna have my new place in uh, soon. I'm speaking out of myself. I have been for a while because I know the steps I take to lead me there. I know what I put in place. So I just gotta trust the plan and bring it to fruition, bro. This is your sign, bro. Stop putting pressure on yourself. You're doing all the right things, I promise you. If you're taking one step forward every day, if you're moving towards your purpose, your why, if you're trying to cultivate a different narrative for yourself and build new beginnings, you know, in a positive way, not hurting yourself or others, I promise it's gonna happen for you, bro. If y'all ever look at my videos, my do-rag is like a great representation of just like where I'm at, bro, I'm not gonna lie my little ted talk we had a productive day i'm putting my best foot forward because worst case scenario i became more consistent on youtube you feel me i started making more tiktoks you feel me we got to look at it like this so that's good that everything is working in my favor it's not against me bro and i'm taking the right steps like i said i'm making a fucking ebook bro <laughs> like 